Welcome to my channel, Steve of the Window Cleaner. Today, we got a construction clean that we're gonna be going to, and I'm gonna be showing you the steps that I take when I do construction cleans as I go through this job. Now, I would say this with construction cleans, it is very, very important to be detailed about what you're gonna do and what you're not gonna do. If you're not gonna clean frames or tracks, make sure to be detailed about that. Um, that is a very important part about construction cleans. Are you doing glass only, or are you doing glass, frames, tracks, and cleaning up all that stuff? Oh, yeah. How are you? Are you good? Okay, first what I do is I go through and I try to remove any stickers by hand as far as not using the razor. This overall is gonna save you a lot of time of not having to scrape and is going to save the possibility of scratching the window. Most stickers come off pretty easy. Sometimes they don't. Uh, sometimes they're baked on or sometimes just, you know, the overall construction um, that's gone on creates it not to come off easily. If you have plastic like this on the windows, you're in luck. This makes it extremely easy and makes it really, really easy not to have to, um, you know, clean the whole entire window and pretty much only the edges need a good scrubbing. After this, I put solution on the glass either with a bottle or with my mop. This isn't like a real thorough like scrubbing. This is just to get solution on there to be able to scrape or use bronze wool. I'm making sure I'm getting to the corners, but I'm not trying to be like overly thorough about it. After that, we'll scrape off any more stickers that didn't come off by hand. Most construction companies know that you're gonna have to scrape off some stuff with the glass. You can do a scratch waiver if you want, but most of them are pretty knowledgeable that you're gonna have to scrape off some stuff. So that's the stage where you're either gonna scrape off whatever paint or just scrape off stickers. Scraping overall, if you can scrape the windows, is going to make it a lot easier for you to complete a construction clean a lot quicker. So I would definitely get used to using a scraper. I'm using the Sorbo scraper here. I have found it to be overall the best as far as just being able to have just one pass over and remove all of the debris because of the longer blade. It flexes a little bit nicer. Then I just go through with bronze wool or quad zero steel wool scrub the window down, get really into um, all of the corners. It helps get off the extra silicone or any extra debris that's on the glass and helps you be real thorough as far as getting that stuff off the windows. For this construction clean, even the outsides really didn't have much paint. So really all they needed was a thorough bronze wooling. And I prefer bronze wool over steel wool for this step because obviously it doesn't rust. So a pad like this lasts you about three to four weeks, which is super, super nice. And you can also use it to kind of scrub down the frames as well. If they have a lot of debris, this place wasn't too bad, so I didn't have to do that. And then next, just squeegee off the solution. And after we squeegee off the solution here, this is basically going to show us any extra debris that is on the glass that we're going to have to remove with like steel wool, dry steel wool, or a magic eraser is gonna take off those extra little bits of silicone or any other debris that's on the glass. So it doesn't need to be an overly thorough squeegeeing because you may have to clean it one more time after cleaning off the extra stuff with like your steel wool or magic eraser and creating like little scuff marks. So I wouldn't be like overly thorough if you can do straight pulls to do straight pulls. So next I go through with either a magic eraser or steel wool a magic eraser works really well for like silicone. Steel wool works pretty good for everything else, including just like a little bit of paint left behind or anything else. You'll even find that like a towel, microfiber towel, you can go through and remove some scuff marks as well. Quad zero steel wool dry is what I'm using here. That's just removing like little tiny marks on the glass and actually usually after you use it, won't even leave a scuff behind. So I go through with one final squeegeeing of the glass just to make sure any of my scuff marks from detailing are good. And I'm always extremely good about just detailing everything when doing construction cleans. Um, really, you know, the art of non-detailing is not going to work with construction cleans if that's what you're trying to do. 
Just make sure all your solution is cleaned up from the frames is an important part and just be thorough. You're gonna find with construction cleans that after you get done, there still be might be some stuff left on the glass, but overall, you're gonna be pretty good because they will have more stuff usually going on with the construction of the house, even after the construction clean of the windows. But it's mainly to get off all of the debris that's gotten on there from the construction company. Okay, so that construction clean went very, very well. It was pretty simple. Uh, Jim and Alf are also there, and uh, we got through it through uh, three and a half hours, so not too bad. Um, but overall, you saw kind of what my process was as I went through of uh, you know mopping the window then you know seeing if it needs to need bronze wool or scraping you know testing areas to see whether or not it can be scraped or not um you know but overall pretty pretty easy but if you have any questions about construction cleans comment below happy always to help you out and if you also have something to add always comment below as you know i like to have with these videos kind of like a, a forum slash thread at the bottom where people can get a lot of info so um yeah that are that is the steps to how to do a construction clean and uh we'll talk soon bye bye